So in this video, I want to talk about how to export frames or an image sequence from Toon Boom Harmony for use in Blender. If you've liked my content so far, please like and subscribe so I continue to grow in the channel. So as far as character animation goes, I've been using Toon Boom Harmony a lot for the characters. I really like their features as far as animation goes uh, for cutout type animation or puppet animation. But I really like using Blender for the backgrounds because you can use 3D objects and then lay out your scene and draw over them in Grease Pencil. Unfortunately, Toon Boom Harmony doesn't have integration with Blender. The only one they have is with Maya and, you know, who wants to go that route? Eventually, I want to try to move character animation for 2D over into Blender, but I'm just not there yet. So this is a way to use them together. By the way, if anybody knows of any kind of bridge that exists that you can download for Toon Boom Harmony to Blender, please let me know. So here I have an animation that was created in Toon Boom Harmony, and I'm going to import this into Blender. So to do that, I've got Toon Boom Harmony open, and if I play this, you can see that it's the same animation. So I don't have a background, so I need it to be transparent in order for it to interact with Blender's background. So you can't export a movie because a movie doesn't have a transparent background. So an image sequence works best. So to do that, I've got my node view open in Toon Boom Harmony. And I'll scroll in and the right node is where you make the changes in order to affect what is exported. So I'm gonna click it and delete it so I can add a new one that'll have the default properties. So to do that, I'm going down to the node library and I'm going to type in right. So I'm going to click and drag this into the node view. And I'm going to connect this composite to it. I'm going to hit Shift E to open the layer properties. You can also right click and select layer properties. So I don't really change the color space any when I'm working with it. We mainly want to focus on these two sections. We have image sequence and movies. And again, we won't be exporting a movie. So image sequence is already checked. So the next option is image folder. This is the folder that the image sequence frames will be saved to. If you have a Toon Boom Harmony project, there's already a frames folder set up. So you can just use that folder. However, if you want to change the folder, you can do that here. So I'm gonna click choose, and I'll select blender frames. So with that folder selected, my next option is image file name, and that will be the first part of the file name for every single frame that you export. So I'm going to type in Blender example. And then after that is how you want the frames numbered after the image file name I've set. So 0001 is the default, but you can change that to 1, 01, so it just depends on how many zeros you want in front of it. I'm going to go back to the default. Under image format, I want to use a PNG, but there is a lot of options in here to choose from. But since I want a transparency, I want to choose that. Then under colors, I want to change color to color plus alpha. So then we again, we have the transparent background and I'm going to close this. So then to export it, you have to go to file, export, and render right nodes, which is that node. So you can select all frames or a certain amount of frames. I'm going to select Selected frames, I'm going to change that from 1002 to 1000. And then I'll hit OK. And now it's going to start rendering those frames out to the folder I selected. So once this is done, I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like and then how to import those into Blender. OK, now that that's done, here we have our folder full of the frames. I'll close out of that. So we're done with Toon Boom Harmony for now, so let me open up Blender. I want to click on 2D Animation because that's the workspace I want to be working in. And then up here I want to change Draw Mode to Object Mode. And now I'm going to turn on an add-on in Blender that ships natively with it, which simplifies the process of importing image sequences. So I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences, and with Add-on selected I'm going to type in Plane. So we have this one add-on, Import Images from Plane. I'm going to click that and close this. I'm going to hit Shift-A to open my Add menu. And I'll scroll down to where it says Image, and then select Images as Planes. And here we can see our images. So before I select anything, I want to go over these presets. 
I especially want to talk about the first section, and the one we're concerned about is Animate Image Sequences. So if you select all of these and hit Import Images as Planes, before selecting that and you're trying to import an image sequence like I'm going to do, if you don't check that and hit Import, it's going to import a thousand separate planes and images, which for me is Crash Blender. So you want to make sure you avoid that. So I'm going to make sure I've got that checked before I even select any of my images. And then the other thing I want to talk about here is the material settings. So we have Principled, which creates a standard blend of material, Emit, which creates an emission shader, and Shadeless, which is what I'm going to select because it uh, lessens the types of things that can affect the images, like lights. So I want to keep that off for mine. And I want to make sure Use Alpha is checked. Straight is fine in my instance. And then there's some options about the positioning and things like that, but for now I'm just going to leave these like they are. So I'm going to select my first frame, and then I'm going to scroll down to my last frame. And holding Shift, I want to click it, and now I've selected all of them. So now I'm going to hit Import Images as Planes. So you can see that came in as Blender-Frames-0001. I'm going to double click that, change that to Animation, you can see I've got it selected now because I have this yellow frame around it, but if I unselect it, you can see it's hard to see. So I'm going to change the color of my environment by going to the World Properties tab, click in Color, and I'm going to bring that down to be more of a gray. Now if I click my animation again, I'm going to hit S to scale it, and pull that back till it's about where I want it to be, and click to let go. Now I'm going to click Stroke so I can go back into Draw Mode. Now if I scrub the timeline, you can see my animation works. Now it does look a little rough while you're scrubbing, but once you let go, it looks good. So if I hit play, you can see in the top left, well currently it's getting, you know, around 20 something frames per second, which is pretty good. I've seen it go as low as nine. So the last thing I want to show you is interaction with grease pencil objects. So with stroke selected, I want to select the straight line and drag that across here, holding shift to keep it straight. So you can see the line is visible through him. And if I click my middle mouse button and drag, you can see they're in the same world space. So I'm going to go back to object mode, and I'm going to select animation, and I'm going to click G to grab him, and Y to constrain him to the Y axis and pull him forward. So now if I scroll around, you can see he is in front of the line. So I hit zero on my numpad to go back to camera view. And even though I know he's in front of the line, you can still see the line through him. So what I want to do is click animation and ensuring I'm still in object mode, click on the material tab. And under settings, you can see we have blend mode. So I'm going to change alpha blend to alpha clip and you can see the line disappear. Okay, so now we're ready to add our background. And as another example, since I'm in object mode, I'm going to shift A, Go to Mesh, and select Cube. I'm going to select R and Z, and rotate that around a little bit. And then I'm going to middle mouse button and drag, and I'll hit G and Y to grab and constrain it to the Y axis. I'll bring it back so that I know that it's behind him. And I'll hit G and X to constrain it to the X axis and bring it back. I'm going to hit zero on my numpad to go back to camera view, and I can see that it's behind him. To make it a little more obvious, with the cube still selected, I want to click on Material, New, then under Base Color, I want to click that and just change it to like a blue. So now if I scrub the timeline, you can see he's in front of the cube, there's no transparency issues, everything works like it's supposed to. So now if I want to start putting in 3D objects to create my background environment, and then go back in on another layer in Grease Pencil and trace all that to create my background, I can. So hopefully you found this video helpful, and I'll be doing more Blender, Grease Pencil, General Blender, and then Toon Boom Harmony tutorials in the future. So if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.